comes within like 100 feet of the water, she'll get out her binoculars, stand on the porch. These are big ass binoculars. I'm not talking little bitty. These are huge. Gets out, puts them up, and stands up on the porch and looks directly at them so they can see her looking at them. And she's like, why are they getting so close? I'm like, Granny, it's the water. They're fishing. So, but she's like, uh, she, for the longest time, she didn't like people coming in close because, uh, well, if I say this, everybody's no going to know what lake I'm talking about. But might as well. Patreon. So the lake that we lived on for, or not lived on, but my grandparents had a cabin on, uh, they had a person that would break in during the winter around the lakes or around the lake and steal just food. That's it. The person would break in, steal food, and then put everything back to normal. So <clears throat> this would happen mainly during winter when everything was closed down. And for years this happened, and they called him like the thief. So there, no, nobody could catch this thief. My grandfather set up this uh, alarm system. The thief triggered the alarm system during the winter rewired it and took the remote so when my grandfather walked through it it went off and he couldn't he couldn't fucking turn it off so he had to break his alarm system yeah <clears throat> this guy set up a camera and got pictures of the guy because he got an alert that it was going off the thief then took the camera and the entire fucking system with him so the guy couldn't retrieve the pictures off of it yeah this thief was good nobody could catch him i mean i'm talking I'm talking damn near 20 years he was doing this and just stealing food. He didn't steal anything else, just food. A couple years back is when he was caught. And how he was caught was that there was a, like a disabled children's camp at the end of the lake. And they 